what is the principal agent problem? And the basic problem here is that you have a principal, and let's just use the classic example of the manager and the worker. And essentially, the agent is working on behalf of the principal. So the manager hires the worker, but the manager does not have full control over what the worker does. The manager has a limited set of tools to influence the manager. And of course, salary and salary structure is one of the main tools the manager has for um, incentivizing the worker, but also like social incentives within the company, meetings, performance reviews. Um, there is a set of tools the manager can have to influence the worker, but the manager's pay and the manager's um, goals and their success depends on the worker working on behalf of the manager, and this is not a perfect, uh, th there's no way to perfectly incentivize the worker, given that the worker has their own incentives. Maybe they don't, they don't like to put forth effort, or maybe they don't really care about the goals of the manager. So that's the basic idea with principal agent, is that the agent is working in some ways on behalf of the principal, and the principal has to incentivize that, but it can't be perfect. Now, it's important to notice that the specific role, like manager, is not inherently a principal because the CEO is the principal to the manager. And so it's not that any one role is inherently principal, inherently agent. It's just who's trying to incentivize who. So like the teacher, um, they're trying to incentivize the students to learn, incentivize the students to do their homework. And of course, they have grades. Grades is that tool to incentivize. Um, so a lot of times when people first encounter this, they'll think, okay, this is the higher, higher person who's sort of in a higher place in a hierarchy of some sort, which is true in a lot of these situations, but not necessarily true. So like the voter is electing a representative to um, make governance decisions on behalf of the voter. So in this pairing, even though some people might think of the elected representative as higher according to some type of hierarchy, actually the voter is trying to incentivize this through the votes and the, the threat to not re-elect, etc, etc, etc. So the voter is the principal, the elected representative is the agent working on behalf of the voter. Coach athlete is another example. So that's just the principal agent problem is, is just the problem that you can never fully incentivize someone else who has their own motives and their own incentives. And the tool set that you have to use to incentivize those people is sometimes somewhat limited.